intense. We welcome a new audience, the Haas Pavilion here in Berkeley, California. Those of you watching UCLA defeat Oregon 5-0 in women's soccer. We're on to volleyball now as Cal looks for its first conference victory against top 25 UCLA. Good look there at Rich Feller in his 16th season. And across the way, Mike Seeley, who picked up his 100th career college win earlier this season. The UCLA will serve, and Julie Consani, senior setter from Newport Beach, gets us underway. And Mike Seeley opting to go with his senior setter after using Manoa as well over at Stanford this week. The Bruins get the first point of the match. Net violation, ball pass too tight to the net. Alyssa Jensen, the setter for Cal, could not deliver the set. Pinsani totaled 19 assists, a loss to the Cardinal. Short floater. And on the slot. Lillian Schoenweiss. So important for Cal to go to Lillian Schoenweiss as often as they can every time they have a good pass. She is one of their biggest weapons, and even with a big Bruin block in front of her, able to put it away. Tops on the roster and attack percentage, and now she serves. Caught the line. Beautiful deep oh. serve just dropped right on the back line. Shown why coming off a 14 kill performance since USC earlier this week. A bad pass and a good result for Cal. Very good start for Cal, serving the ball tough, putting the pressure on because UCLA is a very good ball control passing team. 65th meeting between these programs, and as head coach Rich Feller told us before this match, the Gold Bears have put together good sets in conference play. Holly, they're looking for a good, complete match and first win. Christina Higgins seems determined to get to them. Christina Higgins is the biggest weapon on the Cal Bears team. Look at her get her feet inside and just crank that sharp angle. She's so physical on the outside position. Led the way with 23 kills against the women of Troy on Wednesday. Carson Lowe. And they set middle. Well done, Janelle Jordan. Number 11 in white, Janelle Jordan, has been such a bright spot in the middle. She was really a designated blocker in the past. She worked so hard to make herself available as her attacker, and it pays off. Golden Bear off to a furious 5-1 start, serving deep again. UCLA able to get in its system. They'll set low again. And on the second attempt, she gets UCLA its second point. Carcelo is the most confident volleyball player in the country, and there's a reason. She can put the ball away from anywhere, number 17 in blue. Not far removed from that career-high 33-kill performance, and it came in a four-setter against Oregon. Higgins the tip, good shot there. That's a good scouting job by the Bears, knowing what's open with a big block in front of her. Deep down the line, Christina Higgins, very good student. She's going to graduate from Cal in three and a half years. So she can read a scouting report, too. Alyssa Jensen, the ser serving. Good pass, and that gives Carstolo a chance with the big left. That's what the Bruins do best. They Pass the ball well. First contact right in the setter's hands. Pinsani delivers a beautiful ball to Carzolo. So 6 3 in the early going with Jenny Frager, the sophomore middle serving. Miss hit by Angela Dempe, the freshman for Greece, who we mentioned in these starting lineups today. It's interesting, both teams have a freshman from Greece, and they're both left. It's Angela Dempe for Cal, and Olga Stronzali for UCLA. Frager serving Nikki Gombar, and a stuff at the net like it was Zoe Nightingale for UCLA. That is what Zoe Nightingale does as number 13 in blue. Such a great feel at the net defensively. Hands over, big stuff block. So the Bruins back within one at 6-5. Frager continues to serve. It was Kerr with the pass, and that gets Higgins off a good block. Christina Higgins from the right side. High hands. Haley Lawless did not press over enough. High hand pool. 
And she leaves in favor of Ashton Smith Gooden, the freshman opposite from Rancho Cucamonga, California. And Sarah Cole in as well to serve. Up to the net, and Nightingale finishes. UCLA passes the ball well. Julie Consang is a senior setter. Lots of experience. Gets the ball in a beautiful location for Zoe Nightingale. What did Mike Seeley tell you about going back to his senior in the setter position after he used Megan Moynoa a little bit as well at Stanford? Well, Megan Moynoa is very experienced. And when you need to make a change, it's good to have somebody like Megan to go to. That's what he did Friday night. But he's very confident in senior setter Julie Consang running the offense. But the Bruins all the way back to even the score at seven apiece. Low will serve. Led three Bruins in double figures and kills with 26 at Stanford. Added eight digs, tied a personal best with three aces, but a service error on her first attempt tonight. On the overpass, Cal couldn't put it away. Jeffy gets a second chance, and now she does. Cal's really putting the pressure on from the service line, and that's something I've seen an improvement in since Cal has been losing serve pass battle every time I see them. But right now, really taking it to the putting the pressure on UCLA. Sonda back set out of the back row. It was hit by low. Good dig. And a block of the bounds. Haley Lawler credited it for UCLA. We talked about Haley Lawless at the top of the show. She is a big improvement just in terms of size and physicality for the Bruins on the outside. Give UCLA 13 kills over at Maple Pavilion at the start of this weekend. That was a four set loss. Looking to get the win against the Golden Bears here today. Dempy with that left powers it right past the Laro Taylor Formica for UCLA. Angela Dempy has a lot of experience playing for the Greek junior national team. She sees the court well and finds the line open against UCLA. She continues to emerge in the absence of Vukasovic, who misses her third straight match. Still trying to get right with her health. Free ball for Cal. That was not the pass that they wanted. It works though. Yeah. Ashton Smith Gooden. Gooden off the hands of the block. She's very physical, got a lot of potential, but really adjusting to the size of college game, and that's been the biggest challenge for her this season. Here we see Lara, the junior from Croatia. Not dressed again this afternoon, Rich Filler. Four of the last five points to Cal. Push the blocks. Alyssa Jensen. Cal turning a dig into a kill. That's something the Bruins do to most people, but this time, shown wise, for the quick kill off a dig. So, shown wise, two for two. Higgins, three for three. Just the attacking start that Cal needed here today, and they'll get another chance to build a five point edge. Smith good blocks. Blocked down, and UCLA gets the points. Zoe Nightingale and Julie Kanzani on the stop here for the Bruins. Mostly Zoe Nightingale. That's really her strength in the middle. Good feel of net for blocking. Arrow Taylor Formica. Cousin of Kerry Walsh Jennings. Serving now for UCLA. Sean Weiss continues to slide for Cal. Carstolo gets a shot. Man, can she bend out of the back row or what? She's got a cannon for an arm. I feel like this season she's stronger than she's ever been. Boom! See the arm speed, and you can just hear it. The contact is powerful. Shown Weiss from Jensen again. It's picked up by UCLA. Why not go back to low? A cross court for another kill. The confidence that the Bruins having her solo is unbelievable but it's well deserved leading the country in kills per set and he's doing it against the highest level opponent i like how she took a little bit off there velocity wise to pick her spot found the seam now gets the dip riley busher that was out i did see hands 
There was definitely a touch on that swing. Eric Asami, Ray Mink, our referees today. I did not see it on the replay. I saw it in person, hitting the fingers of the locker, but tough break. Sometimes the cameras lie. I trust your eye, Tully. Bushler again. Good pickup by Cal. Out back, but deep, Nikki Gullo. They too are asking for the touch. Yeah, fantastic dig by Cal to keep that ball alive. Back row attack by Nick Gumbar. I did not see a touch on this ball. They're all very confident and hit a blocker's hand. So UCLA and a chance to draw even. Consani serving. Christina Higgins back in the match, bringing the heat. Fantastic job by Alyssa Jensen, the center for Al. Number 10, isolating Christina Higgins on the left side. When you can isolate your hitter and have only one blocker in front of her, you've done your job. Gets shown why to the service line for Cal. Bushler off block. Riley Bushler, number two from San Diego, California. The current Pac-12 Freshman of the Week has been fantastic, especially lately, putting up great offensive numbers on the left side. She had 13 kills in each of UCLA's victories over the Oregon schools last week. How about sick team while hitting 306 against the number one team in the nation? She may go back to back with that fresh honor. Higgins off the net. Bruins have a chance. Now transition, Higgins again, great shot. That Christina Higgins sweet spot, she goes the seam right between left front and left back defender. That's a pretty kill. At the sense that Cal needed an energetic start if they were to knock off the number 17 team in nation, that's exactly what they have. Number 17 UCLA and Cal each score cheap out of the gate tonight. Both hitting better than 350 as we've reached our first break. A look at the national top 10 and some news to report. Holly McPeak, you told me as soon as you arrived at hospitaling today, Texas went down. The Pac-12 should have the top two spots. Texas was swept by Oklahoma in the Gregory Gym in Austin, Texas. So that's big news because there are four undefeated teams in the country. Now there's just three. Alyssa Jensen has set well for Cal in the early going. She serves here as we're back underway. UCLA went middle with Frager. Back outside to Higgins for Cal. A great dig. Rachel Inoue into the match. Lawless. Blocked down. Low puts it back up her way. Again, Jensen to make that Jordan at the net. Her couldn't pick that one up. And so UCLA finally comes away at the point. Can you hear that contact by Carson Lowe? It's ba boom every time. Heavy arm with power. Cal's getting touched on it. They just can't control the power from Carson Lowe. So Jenny Frager, the sophomore middle to serve. And another chance to bring UCLA back to even. Jensen up back sets to get Higgins. Double hit, we'll give it to Cal, and judging by your reaction, you didn't see it, Holly. I Maybe they thought the contact on the dig was a lift. I thought that was a little bit sticky. Well, you see, Jenny Kruger, well, just a reaction by in a way. A little bit of a call. And a pass that time as Cal built a lead back to three. Cal continues to put the service pressure on the Bruins from the service line. Sarah Cole is their top server in terms of serving aces. Lawless into the net. And Cal is back up to a four point edge. UCLA really needs to clean up their passing. They're passing too far off the net and inconsistent. Something I don't usually see from UCLA. So time at Mike Seeley. And we will take it. Cal with an 18-14 edge. Wednesday, it's prime to ball. Terrific catch.
back in Berkeley where Cal has a four-point edge over number 17, UCLA. We'll look at the updated Pac-12 women's volleyball standings. Perhaps the Golden Bears can follow Washington State's lead. The Cougs a winner over Utah today to get in the Pac-12 left-hand call for the first time. Not easy. No easy matches in the Pac-12. Cal had a nice start today with a big lead in his first set. Junior defensive specialist Eric Cole again has the honors and we are back underway in set number one. Back row sets. Lawless couldn't make heads or tails of it. Well, you made the comment going to our break. You were not pleased with the passing for UCLA and you were surprised that they came out on Sunday a bit off their game. I think it's it's one of the things that UCLA does best. They pass the ball well, put it right in the setter's hands. They're passing way off net. Even after that timeout, did the same thing. Cola Local Products from the South of San Jose, California, Presentation High School. They go back to low. Twice she's picked up. Boy, you got the sense that Janelle Jordan and Cal would have really liked to cash in there. The crowd was about to ride in their favor. Two big digs to slow down Carsta low, and then just a misconnection. Janelle Jordan snapping her wrist a little too soon. Yeah, sometimes you're lucky to big low a couple times a set, much like twice in a point. To the pin, Olga Stronzili, freshman outside in the match. Olga Stronzili, the other Greek player, number 12 in blue. On the other side, number 18 in white, Angela Deppi, also a freshman from Greece. It's unusual to have two players from Greece in the same match. Here's Deppi, counterparts. That's the block, no, that's got to go in Cal's direction. And Rich Feller shares the sentiment. Definitely looked like it got some fingers on the replay, but there have been a lot of missed touch calls both ways. Sometimes you can hear it, sometimes you can see it, sometimes you can't see it. It's, it's, that's why we have so many refs. We have an up ref, a down ref, and two linesmen just here to call that play. You could hear it even if you didn't see it. I mean, it was a clear double sound there at the net. We'll take one more look for those of you at home. Well, you see Zoe Nightingale's fingers move. That's unfortunate for Cal because when you're up against a team like UCLA, you need every point you can get on the scoreboard. That's the difference between 2016 and 1917 as you look to close out the first. Absolutely a big difference. Yep, definitely a touch. And Cal's got to be thinking, you know, this is just emblematic of the way our conference season has gone so far. They've got to regroup here and power through it. Yeah, it's the next play. You can't look at what happened behind you. you got to focus on what's in front. Cal's playing very good volleyball, and they're getting UCLA in passing trouble. So they're doing some good things on their side of that. Look around hospital at some of the volleyball stream here at Cal, and this is by all accounts an off year and something that the Rich Feller program is not used to. They're really having to battle. Well, not too many years ago they were in the national championship game. So very good history here. They're, this is just rebuilding they've had injuries. They're dealing with all sorts of things, but twelve consecutive years in the NCAA tournament. That says something for Rich Feller and what he's created at Cal. Marcelo serves. Jensen sets to the outside. Good pick up there by UCLA. In away with the dig. Cal with one of their own. Bump set from Kerr. Low out of the back. That's out. Still low for the kill. Just missing that corner long. 
It's interesting, Matty Kerr has a shoulder issue and always serves the ball short. Wouldn't you think that the passers would step way up? Pass was better. Blocked at the net by Schoen Lines. Good decision there by Kerr to let it go and Cal picks up another. The pressure remains Cal serving the ball well, getting UCLA out of a system where they don't have all their hitters as options. And we welcome those of you watching women's soccer on the Pac-12 Network to Haas Pavilion here in Berkeley. Cal looking to pick up the first set against UCLA and the Bruins with a point there to back within three behind Zoe Nightingale. With our Hall of Famer, Holly McPeak, got J.B. Long. Good response, Holly, I think, for Cal. Those of you who were with us early to bounce back from that missed call on the timeout to get the first two points, put themselves in position to take the first. Cal is playing at a very high level. Coach Rich Feller says they played some sets at a very high level, but they need to finish. Beautiful execution by Alyssa Jensen, the setter 10 in white. To Lillian Schoenweiss. This is a difficult set, but Lillian Schoenweiss, number one. Such an offensive open out of the middle for Cal. Three kills and five attacks for Schoenwas in this first set, and she has the Golden Bears with the three. It's a race to 25 here in NCAA Volleyball. Marley Davis, a senior defensive specialist in the serve for Golden Bears. She's from Napa, California. No matter where low is on the floor, the UCLA setters find her. Absolutely. If I was the setter, I would find her as often as they do because she leads the country in kills per set and is averaging over 300 hitting percentage. Those are fantastic numbers. She'll serve from Formico. Sean Weiss on the slide. UCLA covers. Three ball back to Cal. Marley Davis chooses to hit it. The kill from Ashton Smith Goodin. When Cal can get Ashton Smith Goodin in a nice rhythm offensively on the left side, she's got the size and power to be able to put the ball away on the outside. Nikki Gombar, the redshirt sophomore, to serve now for Cal. Coming off an 18 big performance against USC. Low again for that, and that's down. Crystal Low finding the corner. UCLA now out of the rotation where they had the setter in the front row and only two hitter option. Now three hitters in the front row for UCLA. Pass off the net, shown Weiss on the slide. That's a big side out for Cal to set up a match point. Cal is passing the ball extremely well, allowing them to get the ball to Lily and Schoenweiss. That's so important for them. Higgins with five kills in this first set for the Golden Bears. Schoenweiss now with four. And serving for the sets. UCLA in system, and then Parcel out to look like that. She will not miss many. Now, when UCLA is in system, that's when they're most effective, when they're passing the ball in front of the 10-foot line and able to run their options. But Karsta Lowe is system, impossible to stop. Pac-12 Player of the Week is low for the fourth time this season, tied with Natalie Williams for the Most Conference Player of the Week awards in a single season at UCLA. And Natalie Williams was my opposite hitter back in the day. Was she phenomenal? Six foot one left, he jumped 40 inches. She was phenomenal. So, so that's good company. And timeout on the floor with Cal leading 24-21. Next Saturday we look ahead to a net full day of football on Pac-12 Networks. It all starts with the pregame show bright early, 9 a.m. Pacific. We've got UW in Colorado. How well did the Buffs play UCLA over the week? USC and Washington State on the Palouse. And then we'll wrap up the night with the Cal Golden Bears in Corvallis to take off Sean Mannion and OSU. Mannion on that night will have a chance to set the Pac-12's career passing mark. A look at the Pac-12 Weekly Volleyball Honors. We mentioned that Carstolo is the Play of the Week and Riley Bushler the Freshman of the Week.
over across the bay, Maddie Bug with another sensational couple of matches to sweep the mountain schools to earn the honor of Stanford. Well, UCLA had their first Pac-12 sweep since uh, 2012, so that was a big weekend against the two Oregon schools in LA for UCLA. Both Riley Bushler and Karsta Lowe for UCLA played huge roles in that. Low majoring in geography and environmental studies with a minor in environmental engineering away from the court. Phenomenal final go round. Al can she in the Bruin rally here in the first. They trail by three. Higgins will have the first shot. And she's got what a win in the first half insert their first Pac-12 trim. Well, that's a wake-up call for UCLA. Cal came out very strong and dominated that first set. Golden Bears hit 250, and they're out in front. One sh set to nothing. We'll be back to Hospital and in Berkeley after this. And that excites. Cal takes the first set off of UCLA 25-21, looking to knock off the number 17 team in the nation and also pick up its first conference victory. So many of the players familiar with each other through the club ranks, but also from Torrey Pine High School. How about four players we've already seen here today? Big volleyball program at Torrey Pines out of San Diego. You see Maddie Kerr, the libero for Cal, who Rich Feller calls a coach's dream, willing to work her butt off to get wins for California. And then on the other side, Riley Bushler. Interesting connection. She's a freshman outside for UCLA. Her dad, Judd Bushler, played basketball with Steve Kerr at the University of Arizona and then was the Chicago Bulls. Riley Bushler's mother, Lindsay Hahn Bushler, played with me at Maricosta High School with CIF Player of the Year and it also played at U of A. So lots of volleyball and Riley Bushler's background as well. And then you see Steve Kerr, local Golden State Warriors head coach, gets to see her play a lot. You know, my goal for this basketball season is for the Warriors to describe Steve Kerr as Pac-12 volleyball fanatic, just like we describe him as former U of A basketball player, now the yeah. head coach of the Golden State Warriors. I would like the Dubs to return the favor. He could be a super fan. I, I think he qualifies. Yeah, I think so too. He's there all the time. He and his wife just recently donated a million dollars to the continued improvement of the McHale Center down there in Tucson, specifically the academic enhancements. A cow stuck in that. Yusuke wins it to end this second set. Cal put the pressure on with a tough serve. Easy overpass, but Julie Consani, the setter for UCLA, winning the joust and the first point. And she will go back to serve now. You called it a wake-up call for UCLA that first set, didn't you? Yeah, I think they were surprised at how well Cal came out. Yes, they're in this in conference, but they are a good volleyball team who are hungry for a win. Two team blocks in that first set, and they get a stuff here to grab a 2-0 lead. I love watching the libero for UCLA. Taylor Formica, just feisty, great communicator, always talking to her teammates, letting them know what they're doing. This is why, excuse me. It's important for a libero to be the captain of the defense. You see her up at the net saying who the hitters are in the front row. That's what UCLA has done offensively, not just here in the conference, but nationwide. Leading in a couple of categories. Big start to this second set. Zoe Nightingale puts it away for nothing Bruins. Kanzani serving the ball tough, serving into traffic, getting Cal into trouble. For whatever reason, the Golden Bears have really struggled in the second set this year. Opponents have won 13 of them, Cal only six. The second set has been there at Gillespie. That's an interesting stat, and if, if you're aware of that at a team, that you've got to start out more focused in that second set always. They're on scoreboard here in the second, and they've got Schoenweiss, who had a phenomenal first set back to serve. <laughs> Nikki Gombard misses, out back row, 5 on UCLA. Big swing by number seven, Gombard, just a little too aggressive on the offset. 
And that's been the exception, not the rule for Cal. I think Alyssa Jensen was really strong in that first set to get him the victory. Well, I think Cal passed the ball well, served the ball extremely well, and, and, and did the little things. That's more like it. Get the shot. Mel Jordan with the finesse shot right over the top of the net. Just drops barely in front of Taylor Formica, the libero for UCLA. The service air there, and Cal's back on good footing. Now UCLA using Claire Felix, number eight in blue. One of the best hitters off one foot in the country. My mistake, UCLA got the point. Higgins had to make a late adjustment, look like some net contacts. So Cal gets a favor from the Bruins there, they're within three. That's a big break for Cal. See Claire Felix into the match for UCLA, the sophomore from Colorado Springs, Lewis Palmer High School. Little shot picked up easily by Cal. Ooh. Of Karam as the Angela Dempy swing was blocked. Olga Strandali and Claire Felix in the middle makes her six foot six. Body felt at the net. Little set and off the top of the block. Cal picks up. Janelle Jordan, number 11 and white, high off the hands for Cal. Cal, because they're passing well, well, are able to get some offensive numbers out of their middles, and that's so key for them. Jump shot. Kerr sprawling at the play. Weiss with the block events. What a break for Cal to pick in the block. Angela Dempy, number 18 in white, returns the favor. She would block the play before, and then all Olga Stronzeli finds Angela Dempy on the block. Great dig by Andy Kerr to keep that alive. Again, UCLA knows she's going to serve short. Net contact again. Cal in the net trying to slow down Carstolo. Easy point for the Bruins. Good look there at Claire Felix. She wants to represent the U.S. on the national team before she's done, all while pursuing a master's degree. She's majoring in marine biology and wants to go into marine rescue and education. Dempy. Big swing from the outside, but it's Doug. How about Kerr? Libero shining this point, and that's way deep. Matt Kerr keeping it alive. Wow, Carcelo hammered that ball down the line. If you're Cal, you just need to keep that ball in play and get another stop. The jump serve on the way from Olga from Zilli. Big time talk. Look at that top spin. That's down. Great set by Julie Consani to Claire Felix. Blocked it up on the way down by the tip because they jumped with the setter. So after dropping the first, UCLA now dubbing up Cal here in the second. Strong's with serve again. And finally, Cal knocks her off the service line. From Greece making a big contribution. Angela Demi with the big kill. One blocker in front of her. Credit Alyssa Jensen for a nice offensive setting decision. Participated in the 2014 European Championships before making her way to Cal and a service error there to put it back on UCLA's side 11 6. Taylor Formico making it of a homecoming. She's from Mountain View, California. Went to St. Francis High School just across the bay. 
Riley Bushler connects there for UCLA. That's only Riley Bushler's second kill. A little bit of a slow start in that first set, but UCLA did not pass the ball well. And Riley Bushler is best when she's in system. Pass here. And Cal cashes in. There you see the physicality of Ashton Smith, good number six in white. Big and strong, hammers through UCLA block. Third kill of the night before she exits. 12 7 UCLA. You see the cow, the kills there, separated by just one in Cal's favor. Show ice on the slide to pull up. Same play going opposite direction, and a good result for Zoe Nightingale. In transition, UCLA gets that ball right in Julie Consani's hands. There she can run her offense. That's when UCLA is at its best. I feel like they're passing the ball too far off the net to run the offense that UCLA is best at. A uh, great jump there. Smart move. Alyssa Jensen's the point for Cal. Perfect pass by Marley Davis allows Alyssa Jensen. She could have set that ball anywhere, but calls her own number. Good decision. Shouldn't be surprised she has top GPA on the roster. Show my serving. Gale connects in the middle. Despite a smalling Marley Davis. Nightingale putting up some good numbers. Six kills, hitting 500 on 10 swims. Janelle Jordan in the middle. Soft lock. Gives the Bruins a chance. Higgins. Been a while since we put her name with a big swing when Cal needed it. Christina Higgins really stayed behind that ball as a hitter. That's her eighth kill on 13 swings. Dig to kill ratio. It's so important when you want to win volleyball at the highest level. Turning digs into kills. Big time swing from Stronzoli. Julie Kansani put a beautiful fastball out to old Stronzoli, a lefty. That's when she's most effective. So Cal grabbed the first set, 25-21, but UCLA has woken up here in Berkeley. Carstolo leads the Bruins back onto the floor here at Hoss Pavilion. UCLA with a 15-9 edge in the second set. We focused on low and her counterpart Christina Higgins off the top. And here's an update on how they are hitting through parts of two sets. Both of them putting up phenomenal numbers. Carstolo 9 for 17, hitting 471. Christina Higgins 8 for 13, hitting 538. But Cal's team percentage as a team has dropped to only... 111 and UCLA hitting 467. That's been the biggest difference in the second set. Knight, one of four Bruins, along with Lowe, hitting over 400 at this stage of the match as Sarah Cole comes in to serve Cal. They go to pins, and the double lock by Cal. It's blocked out, though, and UCLA gets the points. Olga Stronzoli, a lot of teams not used to seeing that lefty on the left side. So giving UCLA a different look is number 12 in blue. Well, they have asked Cal has Ashton Smith Gooden to take a lot of sets. She misses there. Just missing that long. Ashton Smith Gooden has been very effective on left side. She just needs to get her feet to the ball and take very good swings. The prep All-American gets another chance here. Free ball to Golden Bears. Dempy. And now Lowe. Well, Cal had their chances, and Lowe finally takes it away. Taylor Former for the libero, number 11 in dark blue, able to handset that in transition to Carslo in the backcourt. Three straight points for UCLA, and timeout Cal.
Wednesday, it's primetime women's volleyball. Terrific catch. See the power from Arsta Low. You can hear it sounds like a cannon just firing out of the backcourt. Finds the sharp corner for the kill. Low following the footsteps of her brother Griffin, who graduated from UCLA in 11, was on the men's rowing club team. She's getting better than six kills per set here in her senior campaign. Smith Gooden picked up. Ruins a chance to extend their lead and a dagger to the floor. Stronzoli swinging strong. Stronzoli is very effective when she gets that fast, quick ball. Tough to get it out to her left hand and beat the block. So four unanswered for the Bruins to do the nine-point edge as Lowe continues to serve. Cal needs an answer. And finally they get one from Janelle Jordan. Jordan with her fourth kill out of the middle for Cal. High off the hands again. Jordan, who was one of three Bel Air High School students in Houston, Texas, to take Chinese 3, and Chinese was not their primary language. Speaking of academic prowess. On the slide, UCLA gets another. Claire Felix, the 6'6", from Colorado Springs. Claire Felix, number 8 in blue. This is what she does best. You, she likes to go off one foot, but she's got nice range hitting that very sharp angle. You slide back above 300 in their attack percentage for the day. Show ice making something out of nothing. So UCLA leading 20-12 here in our second and coming up at intermission we'll bring you the Pac-12 intermission report from our San Francisco studios a look at the day in volleyball and being UW staying undefeated against CU and the first win of the season for Washington State Cal trying to follow in the Cougs footsteps here on this Sunday of Pac-12 women's volleyball Bushler is blocked the Bruins will get another chance here with Lowe out of the back overpass It's Cole from the back row. Still alive. Joe Weiss, that's deep, and a huge celebration from the Bruins. Well, when you hustle like that, keep the ball alive. Credit Taylor Formica, who just took off sprinting to keep that ball in play for the Bruins, and then they get the break with the offensive hitting air by Cal. Joan Weiss again on the slide. It's dug out. Charlie trolls in in the back for UCLA. It looks like. Was Lowe asking for the deflection there? Yes. Carso Lowe thinks there was a touch on that ball. Ooh. Might have got a fingertip. Kind of the theme of the day. Yeah, it has been the theme of the day. That's unusual. I haven't called a match where that has been an issue. So here's Nikki Gombar serving, and Cal feels like she continues to emerge, getting closer to being a six-rotation player for the Golden Bears. A douse one at the net by Julie Consani. That's how the second set started. Julie Consani winning a joust for the Bruins, and that's one of the things when you're a smaller player at the net. You wait on joust, you touch it second, you usually win. Now the senior with a chance to serve. Another joust. UCLA takes control. Bushler puts it down. That's only the third kill for Riley Bushler. But that's a big one as they creep towards the second set victory. Uh, timeout. Cal looking the Golden Bears salvage from this. And just a couple of points to feel better about themselves. Come back to the third. Well, they played at such a high level in the first set. If they could go back to what they were doing, and I know they struggled in sets too, but go back to what they did in the first set. Played at a very high level. Control the first contact. There you see Judd Bush on the left side. Steve Kerr on the right. Two buddies from San Diego. Both their daughters played Tory Pines. U of A together. Chicago Bulls together. Long history between those two players. Another friend there is Matt Muehlbach, who's with us now at Pac-12 Network on the basketball side. 
They go back to Tucson, of course. A really neat tie-in to have a couple of NBA fathers. Such big fans of Pac-12 volleyball. And there you see Riley Bushler, the daughter of Lindsey Hahn Bushler, and Josh. And Lindsey was a standout setter in Arizona in her own right. She was a standout setter in high school with Nick Maricosta, CIA Player of the Year, played at University of Arizona. Look at that resume. Pretty impressive. Final four in 1988, three-time NBA champions. And they're fortunate enough to live in San Diego right near each other and both see their daughters grow up being fantastic volleyball players at Torrey Pines. Judd Bush has another daughter who plays as well. Well, Maddie Kerr was instrumental in getting Cal set number one. Now Riley Bushler has put her team in position to level the count at one apiece as we go to intermission. Kasani serving into the net. Cal really needs to work to get momentum back on their side after dominating the first set. UCLA has controlled this entire second set. Pass off the net. Cristolo looking for her left kill. This is long. UCLA needs to continue the focus to push that pass up to the net so they can run their offense. Back set, Schler. Blocked by Jordan. Here's Higgins. And for sure, the Higgins on the stand. Little momentum on the California Golden Bears side. Higgins high off the hand. She knows how to elevate and does so on that last play. Just what Cal needed. The odds of them rallying all the way to win it to 25. Pretty slim at this point, but something to build off of. Nightingale delivers for UCLA there within one. Nightingale with her seventh kill. Some beautiful production by her out of the middle. They've really been trying to make her an offensive threat. And we'll serve for the sets. Good pass. Higgins. Block to the floor. It's Nightingale in. I always think when a middle blocker gets a lot of sets and is having nice offensive production, their blocking is great and follows. So a good one, Bruin and Murphy, a set of pieces. We go across the bay to San Francisco Studios for the Pac-12 Intermission Report with Jill, Jill Savage next. Our San Francisco studios. I'm Jill Sapp with this intermission report. UCLA and Cal each with one set apiece. We've had some good volleyball matches today on Pac-12 Networks. Let's get right to the highlights. Chris Van Sant and the third ranked Huskies looking today perfect hosting Colorado. First set all tied up at 26. Leon Seibeldon hammers it home through the defense. Huskies take the first at 28-26. In the second set all tied up at 29. Van Sant comes from the wing, smashes the cross-court winner. The Huskies get the second set 31-29. Third set now, Huskies looking to finish it up. Nara Ortiz Ruiz has blocked by the Huskies front line. They win in straight sets. Washington stays undefeated now 21-0 and 10-0 in Pac-12 play. Jen Green in Washington State up in Utah taking on the Utes. Washington State up 23-20. Chelsea Bettingson with a swing off the block. Washington State gets the first set. Second point for Washington State. Kendall Saigon misses the serve long. That gives the Cougs the second set. Third set, match point now for Washington State. Kyra Holt with an ace gives the Cougars the sweep. Washington State with their first Pac-12 victory of the season. We'll get you back out to Hot Pavilion shortly, but stay tuned. Guy Haberman will be back with your sports report update coming up next.
Hey there, Guy Haberman here with this Sports Report update. It's already been a great week here in the Pac-12, and we've got to take a look at three of the nominees for the 12 best plays of the week. Let's start it with Colorado hosting 23rd-ranked UCLA at home. Early in the first, no score. Paul Perkins off and gone. 92 yards for UCLA touchdown. Perkins had 180 yards, two touchdowns on the day. UCLA wins in double overtime. Top-ranked Stanford taking on 17th-ranked UCLA. Moretta Lutz for Stanford, a career-best night. Stanford won it in four sets. Lutz had 12 kills, 10 blocks. Her first double-double of her career. Mount Water Polo, top-ranked Stanford taking on number three UCLA. Danny McClintock to Chancellor Ramirez to Paul Reynolds for the score. Bruins stun top-ranked Stanford. Final score, 7-6. to six. You got to see where all this plays fit in to the 12 best. Uh, the sports report coming up Monday night with Jay Long and Ashley Adamson. Plenty more coming your way as well. Piskin with Parker is always must see every Monday. Coming up next, we will send you back to your game here on the Pac-12 Works. Welcome back to the Bay Area. Cal and UCLA Pac-12 Women's Volleyball is set apiece as we return from intermission with Holland the Peak, J.B. Wong. And Cal head coach Rich Feller joins us now. Rich, what did you like from that first set that you might be able to tap back into as we go to the third? I just think our energy was a lot high in the first set. We were executing a little better, made a lot of plays, and got a lot of transition kills. And we, uh, we started out the second set kind of shooting ourselves in the foot with six on four stairs and then tried to climb back with a little lack of confidence there. So hopefully we get that confidence back, make some good plays early, and play point for point. Well, that was the biggest difference from first to second set. First set, they struggled offensively, and then it was your turn the second set. Yeah. Any adjustments specifically that you can make there? Uh, maybe make their blocker move a little bit more and make sure that we get our feet to the ball every time we attack and every time we set the ball and we can get a better swing. Coach Pell, thanks very much. You bet. To a set of peace, let's review with our highlights, Holly McPeak. Christina Higgins, we talked about her at the beginning of the show. She's so key for Cal. With the tip to the corner and then isolation from the left side. She's so effective. Getting her feet behind the ball. Bright spot for Cal early, especially in the first set, but in the second set. It was all UCLA hitting 414 as a team. Zoe Nightingale making her presence felt offensively and then defensively as well at the net from one. Through a couple of sets, here are your match stats. The hitting percentage clearly tilted in UCLA's favor, so too the blocks. Well, the blocks definitely, and UCLA was out blocked 20 to 4 on Friday night, but right now they have the edge 5 to 1 over Cal. Serves aces, goes to Cal. Cal started serving the ball extremely well in the first set, and that was the difference. Really gave Cal the confidence and the e energy in that first set to compete. See Nightingale there, and I have to say that Zoe has impeccable taste. Her favorite TV show is Flight of the Concourse, which is a personal favorite of mine as well. And she's a big fan of the San Francisco Giants, who have tied the World Series at two games apiece and are about to throw out the first pitch on game five across the bay. So Nightingale from Sacramento, returning to the San Francisco Bay Area. Hard to believe she's already a senior. Named the 2011 NCAA All Tournament team. And so we are set for the third sets from Haas Pavilion. Cal took the first, UCLA the second. Julie Hansani, the senior, with the first serve. Good pass, and on the slide, they tried to get to Schoenweiss. Now Higgins, her first chance at the third set. UCLA out of system on the tip. Kerr picks it up. Higgins cross court. Dug by Busher. She'll get a swing. Marley Davis. And now Higgins again. Carson has seen enough of all that. 
if UCLA can keep the ball alive enough to finally get it back to Carcelo, it will pay off. Carcelo with her 11th kill on 24 swings, hitting 333. Now goes back to Higgins and she stuffed. The duo of Carstolo 17 and Zoe Nightingale 13. That is a duo who have worked together since their freshman year. Two tall, very athletic blondes putting up a wall for UCLA. Half a dozen blocks now for the Bruins as we begin this third set. Back set on the slide, Joan Weiss. In the middle, Nightingale. D2 is blocked. The show watch recover. Well, Zoe Nightingale didn't even see a middle blocker in front of her. Lillian Schoenweiss flew into the picture late, pressing her hands over for the cow block. Coming all the way back from that right side slide, good hustle. Coach Rich Feller talked about getting the feet to every ball. She did so there. Sonny the sets, looking for low and the lethal lefty delivers. You see the offensive range by Carcelo. She's six foot four and just has beautiful offensive range. She can hit the high ball, hit the low ball. She can hit the ball away from anywhere. Leads UCLA and Nation in kills per set. A junior defensive specialist, a former prep state champion in Hawaii. In a way to serve. Higgins, booming ball, right on the back line. Christina Higgins has beautiful foot vision. She's so comfortable on the right, but now really feeling more and more comfortable from the left side, finding that open corner. And as she feels more at home there, she's able to go down the line and cross court equally adept. Yeah. She's, diversifying she's, her. Exactly. She sees the court better and knows the spots where she wants to put the ball. Lowe's at a dozen now, 4-2 UCLA. Make that 13, a dozen for the rest of the team as we update our stat monitor. Higgins trying to match her blow for blow. H Higgins with her 10th kill, hitting 350. Those are nice numbers. For Cal, it's all about stops. They need to slow down the UCLA offense, who hit over 400 in that second set. Good pass. And UCLA able to cash in. Stronzoli came on in that second set. You thought she was a difference maker for the Bruins. Absolutely. Olga Stronzoli, number 12, she hits a very hard scene. She's got a quick arm, so she hits and attacks a space between the two blockers that an ankle might be hampering her a bit but she looked very fit here today yes a couple weeks ago she did sprain her ankle and that really opened the door for Haley Lawless to work into the lineup but right now Olga Stronzoli is doing the job today for the Bruins so Felix another block for UCLA now seven in the match for the Bruins they set more and Jordan picks up eight point for Cal I love to watch Janelle Jordan play number 11 she just gives so much energy to her team she's always working Able to get a kill in the middle for Cal. Rich Filler liked the energy in that first set. And you can see coming out of the intermission, Cal trying to fire themselves up. Match UCLA's athleticism. That's blocked out on the slide. Claire Felix picks up another point. Claire Felix, number eight in blue. That's what she does. Off one foot. So teams are ready for her. But she's still able to tool the big block for Cal. Left-handed serve from Stronzoli and on the overpass, Riley Busher puts it down. Give Olga Stronzoli an assist from, she just has a cannon of an arm or jump serve, powers it, and then Riley Busher gets the easy overpass, puts away for UCLA. So UCLA hitting at 500 here in this third set to build an 8-4 advantage. That one off the mark. Now you've got Angela Dempe, the lefty. She's going to, from Greece as well, try her jump serve. Three kills, three attack errors so far in this match for Dempe. 
Back six. Again, sliding. Claire Felix has been strong in the third. Definitely. And Kylie Bushler got a free ball over on her first attack. Able to put it in her setter's hands again. Claire Felix, the slot set and the kill. Bushler hits over the block. Marley Davis can't get there. Another for the Bruins. Smart shot by Riley Busher. Little finesse shot right over the block of Hal. These guys aren't talking much volleyball, are they? Duel and Das today. It's Buddy just and silent. former teammates. Silent up there. <laughs> Again, that's blocked down like Schoenweiss. Billy and Schoenweiss is so good. Number one in white. She presses her left hand over the net and just seals that Riley Bushler kill for a cap point. The only goal to bear is Schoenweiss averaging more than a block per set at 1.04 coming into today's match. Good pass. Nightingale on the slide. Cal is able to block it. Bushler on the roll shot, looking for that back corner and just missed. It's a smart swing, good idea, really missed that by about an inch, going for that corner. So Gomar continues to serve, attain her first language, but also enjoys Spanish and English. Return for Cal's European tour after redshirting in 2013. Another finesse shot from Bushler, and it's tipped out for a UCLA point. When UCLA passes the ball towards the net and they're able to run that fast ball out to Riley Bushler, the defense has to be on the heels and that opens that finesse tip right over the block. And how much of that is having to respect Karstel Lowe's left swinging on the right side? Well, everybody has a lot of respect for Karstel Lowe, no doubt. Pick your poison, it's Bushler again. When UCLA is able to deliver that fastball out to Ryan Bushler, she is much more effective. That's what we call in-system when they're able to run it fast and quick out there. Very nice decision to go down the line. Schoenweiss helps Cal regain some footing here in the third set. They're back within four. Schoenweiss so quick off one foot, whip of an arm. Really one of the best, in my opinion, sliders in the Pac-12. Later, Nebraska High School to a state and national championship with 41 undefeated win season. First team All-American, Karstelow looking for that at the NCAA level this season. Higgins a big answer, but it's picked up by Formico. And I think it goes to Cal, like a net violation. Watches that dig by Cal to keep it alive, and then you miss the UCLA. I love the dig by Taylor Formico. Look like a lane viol um, a line violation by UCLA on the last play. So to go under on the previous point and miss wide with that attack, and Cal's back within two. Cal's hanging around, and that's important. Three unanswered point as shown wife, the Redger Jr. continues to serve. Whoa, tip shot. Davis gets to it easily. How about Higgins? Big time shot. It's nice to have Christina Higgins as an outlet number 23 on the left side. They did not have that earlier in the season. She has been a key to Cal playing at that elevated level. I know they haven't won matches in conference, but they're playing some very good sets. They need to put put it all together and finish according to Rich Filler. Fowler, excuse me. Carstolo puts an end to that 4 nothing run for UCLA. That fast all out to the left side. Carstolo is lethal. Anyways, turn to serve the Bruins. Right back to Christina Higgins. Dug well by Formico. 
Higgins off the top of the block. Cal rolling, making some nice plays defensively. And then Christina Higgins able to put away high hands. Jensen serve for the Golden Bears. And Sonny presents. Matt Curry able to get to it. Roll shot, perfect for Higgins. That's a great play. Maddie Kerr put the ball up to the net, but Christina Higgins really worked to get her feet there. Baby jump, but got her hand high up on the ball instead of giving a free ball over the net. So from down 12-7, Cal all the way back to tied at 13. Back set, Carstow, a booming ball that will get over and give Mittengale a chance, and she misses deep. UCLA needs a timeout. Cal just has so much momentum. A 7-1 run to take the lead. Good pass. Flex off the pin. Out of bounds. That ball hit into the antenna. 8-1 run for Cal. Much better energy for the Golden Bears. They're put scare into the number 17 team in the nation. We're in the third set, one to each side. Number 17, UCLA and Cal. The Golden Bears in front here in the third by a 15 to 13 count. Washington State already a winner in the Pac-12 for the first time in conference play today. Mike Cal follow their lead. Right now, Cal on an 8-1 run, feeling the energy. You see the players talking, communicating. They're hungry for a win. And boy, does Coach Rich Feller want one for his program. Christina Higgins leading the way with 14 kills to match her counterpart. Low. Golden Bears serve as we're back underway. Powerful swing from Strasley. UCLA needed that, but it's, I still think UCLA is passing the ball too deep in the court. They're eliminating their middle attack. Time they bring Higgins around to the right side. Dempy gets a shot. Angela Dempy had a heavy arm for Cal, number 18 in white. She's not, she's hitting on the way down, but it's a flat ball with a lot of power behind it. Much better pass to the net that time, and look at the result. You, you can see it when UCLA is passed the ball up to the net. They're so dangerous. This is a perfect pass. Carstolo, exclamation point, kill. She takes the kill lead for both sides with 15, but a service error gives it back to the Golden Bears. Seventeen fifteen Golden Bears as her serves. Another good pass. And a great single on Lee Gumball coming through for Cal. That is a big stop. Solo block number seven from Italy. Nikki Gumbar shuts down Claire Felix from UCLA. Big Cal point. A distinct European flair to Pac-12 volleyball today at Cal. I think UCLA heard you. We're not far from their bench, and the Bruins are taking their cues from our Olympian, Holly McPeak. Well, the last two passes have been very good, right in Blue Kansani's hands. When she puts it, when they can pass it right to her, she delivers a nice, fast, effective offense for the Bruins. Olga Franzoli to serve. Bump set for Dempy. UCLA not looking. That's a tentative shot by Angela Dempy, just right in the middle of the court. And just everyone's tentative, frustrating to let that drop, especially when you're down in this third set. Holly, what's it called? A campfire in your Absolutely, world? Absolutely, campfire defense. 
I'm impressed you know that. Learning from you with three points. On the back slide, a clean kill for Claire Felix. She's been very strong in the UCLA rotation. Perfect pass leads to a beautiful kill by UCLA Claire Felix. We saw her go down the line and then the sharp angle between the two blockers. Alyssa Jensen continues to run this Kell offense and she chooses wisely. Lillian Schoenwise, nine Lillian, kills. Yes, Lillian Schoenwise had two blockers in front of her, but just so effective. High wrist snap. Very experienced volleyball player for Cal. She's back above 300 in her attack percentage on the afternoon. 20 to 17. Cal looking to take a two set to one lead. Good pick up there by Marley David, but she missed wide. UCLA gets the point. Last five plays, UCLA is really clean with their passing, able to run their offense. Christina Higgins gets the call. Miss hit there. No, a deflection. This time the down referee overrules says he's set a tip. Watch the blocker's hands. I do not see a touch on that play. Well, the Golden Bears had one go against them in the first set. They were able to hang on to win it. This time they get the break and a 21-18 advantage. Push on the back set. Wilson got there, giving low a chance. Boy, UCLA circle that one. Scrambling for a point. Scrambling to keep that alive. Carly Drolson runs that ball down. Kasani lifts it for low, and low able to get the ball to drop for UCLA. Both teams fighting hard at the end of this third set. Going to 25, win by two. Back to Higgins. Good dig for Mako. Free ball to the Golden Bears. Up there, up there. They want the outside hit again, and she misses long. Taylor Formico sitting in that deep angle, slowing down Christina Higgins, getting some beautiful touches. Massive moment in this match. Deep in the third. Up there, up there. On the slot. Jordan picked up by the Bruins. Carstello. A booming ball and UCLA has tied it up. Momentum is so important in volleyball. And you saw Cal get a lot of momentum early right now. UCLA has momentum on their side. Lowe hitting 382 with a match best. 17 kills to tie to 21 in the third. Back at Hus Pavilion, where Cal's had a couple of three-point leads deep in his second set, but three unanswered for UCLA and Claire Felix, and they're back to even at 21 apiece. Claire Felix did not start the match for UCLA. It has come on strong. Six kills, hitting 625. Rich Lino to serve. They go to Hayes. Four to Hayes. Cal passed the ball well. You know they're going to their big gun, but Christina Higgins finds a way to beat the big block and put it down. Senior from Inglewood, California. Low pass. They're able to get to low. And on the over, she slams it. Janelle Jordan did a good job for Cal getting up defensively to try and block that ball. But Carcelo tools at first and Maddie Kerr, a fantastic defensive play. And then Janelle Jordan just a little late on hands. Another good pass, and they're able to get it to Higgins. Dug by Kasani. Free ball cap. Back set Higgins again. Net contact and out to the point. Carcelo just over aggressive, trying to get up to slow down Higgins. Hit her net on the block. Excuse me, hit her hand on the net while trying to block. Ah! 
there. Cole's serve is deep. That hurts. Both teams battling, hitting around the same percentage. The advantage in blocking department still held by UCLA, 7 to 4. So locked at 23. Costello serving. Middle. Jordan dug by Formigo. Low out back. Missing. And Cal back in front. Uh, oh. Big play right here. Julie Consani is in the front row. She's a front row setter. That means she has two hitting options. Claire Felix and Olga Sranzelli. She chooses Sranzelli, and we've got a great battle for the title of Greek Goddess of Volleyball here today. Absolutely. The left just powers down the line. Beautiful location by Olga Sranzelli. Win by two here in the third, 24 up. Wicked jump serve. Bump set it tight. Gumbar able to do something with it. Here comes Bushler, she's blocked. On the slide, it's Felix. UCLA takes the lead. Claire Felix with her seventh kill. Deep down the line, you know, right Bushler on the left side and then Claire Felix running behind, really spreading out the offense for UCLA when the setter's in the front court. Low impact scoring for Felix, 667 she's hitting. That is a blistering offensive number if you're a hitter. Love it. I just love supporting roles here for UCLA with Will having 18 kills. Just looking down the statute, Bushler with eight. Nightingale 7, Felix 7, Sanzoli 7. Their supporting cast really strong and a big reason why they're ranked top 25. Well, it's important to have depth at every position. Haley Lawless had a slow start in the first set, but UCLA has somebody else to go to. Sometimes you don't, whether it's due to injury or you just don't have depth on, on your bench. We will go across the bay next as this afternoon a Pac-12 women's volleyball continues. USC and Stanford, the number 19 team in the land, takes a shot at undefeated number one. It's coming up at 7 o'clock only here on the Pac-12 Networks and on the Pac-12 Now app as well. The up to the minute league standings, Washington a winner. They're the first to 10. Stanford looking to join them this evening. Well, Washington and Stanford, two of only three undefeated teams in the country along with Florida State. And, of course, they're atop the conference standings. But I'll tell you, from Oregon down, anybody can win. Uh, last weekend, UCLA and USC beat Oregon and Oregon State. That was a huge sweep for the Bruin. It was reflected in the conference honors. Sorry, Oregon beat SC, excuse me. But SC beat Oregon State. Drills in the serve for the Bruins. They've got a set point. And they've got the third. Cal battled that third set, but they have some momentum and some energy. If they can maintain that level and finish, that is the key. So the Bruins rally from three down in the third to take a two-set set-to-one lead in Burby. For UCLA, the third set was all about Claire Felix off one foot. This is what Claire Felix likes to do. Very comfortable going off one foot. So that means she's usually attacking behind the center. But because she's six foot six, she's got lots of offensive range. Really made her presence felt. For UCLA, seven kills on nine swings, hitting a blistering 667 for UCLA. She and the Bruins going for a Bay Area sweep this weekend in Northern California. See the hidden percentage by sets. Well, you see most interesting, or the biggest difference was in the second set when UCLA dominated. But in the last set, Cal actually lost, but they lost the, they led the battle offensively. And then overall, UCLA with a slight edge. I mean, 287 to Cal's 214. See if the Golden Bears have another push here in the fourth set. They were up three as they hit 20s in that third, but could not hang on. Crystal Lowe and company coming all the way back to win the third. 
Coach Rich Feller said his team has played very good sets. They just have not put together a match where they maintain the level, and that's the challenge right there. And then finishing, being able to finish when it's tight. And that second, excuse me, that third set was tight at the end. And let me also pick up my own service there. Of course, UCLA losing at Stanford as the Colonel State undefeated, so looking for the Bay Area splits is how I should have phrased that. As we go to fourth at Hospitalian. Gumbar with Dig, giving Christina Higgins a chance. Off the top of the block, Cartolo picked it up, and now she takes a swing with the left. Oh. by Schoenwise. Million Schoenwise. Another big defensive stop. Cartolo out of the back row. Million Schoenwise, good lineup way over the net. Fifth block of this afternoon for the Golden Bears. Great pass. They're unable to finish it. How Higgins? Carcelo down the line. Carcelo again out of the back row in transition. Now she's in the front row for UCLA, but she hits it out of the back row better than I could ever dream of hitting it out of the front row. She's that good. I'm with you there. How about Jikinsani going the distance as the setter so far for the Bruins? Well, Coach Mike Seeley has a lot of confidence in her. When he's having a good match and things are going well, he's going to leave her in there. But when he needs to change it up, he will and has the depth on the bench with Megan Moynoa. That's what he did on Friday over in Palo Alto. See Janelle Jordan in for Cal. They take a 2-1 lead. Bushler. That was tipped, and UCLA gets the point. Riley Bushler going high hands deep to the corner, saying, hey, you better get that touch, and they did. There have been a few debated so far today through three sets, but they got that one right, and we are tied at two early in the fourth. Mary McKinnon into the match the first time for Cal as Higgins misses wide. That ball was set off and inside. Christina Higgins trying to hit that sharp angle. A late over it looks like. Looks like UCLA in the net blocking violation. Net violation, excuse me. Jensen takes a serve for Cal. She, of course, played with that Pac-12 All-Star team that toured China back in the summer of 2012. She's carried that experience back to Berkeley. Dempy has to pop it up. Free ball to UCLA. And low cashes in on that. Can't say her number enough. 17 again on the right side. Fast arm. High and hard for UCLA. 20 kills for low. We're tied at three. Kerr on the serve receive. Good dig by Bruins. Looked like Nightingale. Low over the top. Dempy with the left. Both teams scrambling here. Back for sets. And a big swing. Stronsley is off the bench to give UCLA exactly what they've needed. Well, it's interesting. That time Coach Mike Seeley had Carson Lowe stay on the left side just to block Christina Higgins and kept Olga Stranzoli on the right side. Good pass off a tough serve. Dempy gets her shot. Sarah Cole in to serve for Cal and into the net. It's not what you want from your service specialist, of course. UCLA in front by one. Christine Alton in for Cal here in this fourth set. See if she gets another shot. 
Instead, they serve set middle. And Alyssa Jensen hits Janelle Jordan. Beautiful execution of the middle set. And Janelle Jordan working hard as a middle attacker to make herself available. And as a setter, if you see someone working that hard, you want to get them the ball. Big smile as she returns to the Cal side with Kerr serving. Good pass. You've wanted them tighter than that. UCLA did not come away at the point this time. Often. Sonsoli dug by Kerr. What an exchange at 5-5, and on the touch, Karstelow gets the pull for UCLA. That's when it's beautiful to have Karstelow on your side of the net. You just fling it up there, and she works her magic. But credit UCLA's defense for some nice groveling digs, doing what it takes to keep the ball alive. Not surprisingly, though, 21 kills lead the match. Demby picked up, at least initially. Did it catch the antenna? Looked like the attack hit the antenna. Yes. By the way, if you like the jump serve from Stronsley, just wait for Sam Bricio coming up later for USC. go-to in key moments here today. Now passing the ball well, able to run their middle. We're calling Janelle Jordan's number, Lillian Schoenweiss. That is definitely a positive note for Cal. Angela Dempsey's serve. Just like in that third set, it's Claire Felix on the slot. Well, that ball is passed perfectly for UCLA, and Claire Felix at 6-6, that ball was set wide. Christine Alfton, tough, is just a solo blocker. Get out and slow that down for Cal. So three of the last four points, the Bruins. They're on top by two, with Taylor Formick serving. Alfton misses. Alfton going sharp angle. Good idea was open, but just missing it wide for Cal. Alton from my hometown, across the Bay in Woodside, California. She was an underarm second team All-American as she made her way here. Cal gets another swing. Took nicely out of the back. The defensive specialist, Trollson. Low can't believe it. An illegal hit gives it back to Cal. Double contact for the Bruins. That is a break for Cal. So Nikki Gumbard is served now again from Rome, Italy, where she worked part-time at the American Embassy in Community Relations before beginning her college career. Push a good spot. Good, really fast set by Julie Consani to Riley Bushler. This is when I feel like Riley Bushler is at her best, when it's low and quick so she can beat the block. She's a little bit undersized, 6-1 for the Pac-12. It's scary to say 6-1 is undersized, but the girls are getting bigger and bigger all the time. Taller and taller. Nice cross-court angle there from Higgins. Beat the double block. Christina Higgins has fantastic offensive range. I think the adjustment from going her on the right side to the left has been really good for Cal. She takes a lot of big swings for Cal now on the left. Good passing again from the Bruins. Free ball to UCLA now. And a back set Bushler. Joe got part of that block. Now Higgins gets the swing. And it's blocked down. Christina Higgins, that time she didn't power it cross court using the blocker's hands out of bounds. Sean White continues to serve. Bushler tips. Just behind the double block. Smart play. You say they passed the ball well. They ran almost a double quick, able to get that ball to Riley Bushler. Defense on their heels. 
11 kills, push through the backup low, 21 for number 17 UCLA. Inoue Suri. They go back to Higgins. Again, want to try that cross court angle this time. Clip tape. That ball needs to be set a little bit tighter to the net for her to hit the angle she's trying to hit. UCLA matching their largest lead of this four set. Set from Kerr. Higgins, that time she pounds it. Wow, Christina Higgins, 23 and white. Got her feet there. Watch this ball's one side. She gets her feet, a big jump, and look at the sharp angle with power. UCLA a little surprised on that play. Middle set. Nightingale puts it away. Perfect pass by Taylor Formico. Getting it in Julie Kanzani's hands. Able to get Zoe Nightingale again going in the middle. That's her eighth kill. Serve received it here from Cal, but a single block by Blair Felix. She's done so much on the slide now, defensively delivering. Well, if you've got a six six blocker in front of you, you gotta make her move. And Claire Felix jumps right into this ball. Largest lead of the set for UCLA. Jordan gets him back. I like the confidence to get right back at Janelle Jordan. She knows to avoid that big block. This time hits it high, a little more flat for the Cal kill. Sarah Colfe service miscue in her last attempts. Nothing you can do when UCLA is in system and their feeding starts to low. Lately UCLA is passing the ball extremely well. They've got a chance to pick up a road win at Cal. We return. Back 12 Women's Volleyball is presented by Tachi Kara. We've got the ball. You bring the game. A spectacular weekend here in the Bay Area, and we are in the East Bay as number 17 UCLA visits Cal before the Bruins finally get a chance to make their triumphant return to campus. On Friday, Halloween, they host UW. What better opponents at the John Wooden Center? That's a 6 p.m. start. And finally, UCLA gets to go home after Poly Pavilion flooding and some damage in their other gym. It's going to be nice. A handful of matches at Pepperdine and also at Crossroads School in Santa Monica. All the more impressive they've been able to do what they've done to this point in the season. Maybe their best volleyball is ahead of them. Big kill in transition. Angela Dempy, 18 and white for Cal. Turns that dig into a kill for Cal. Dempy only hitting 200, but seven kills on 15 total attacks. Kerr serving with the Bears down three. What a stuff. Christine Elton and Lillian Schoenweiss finally able to stop Claire Felix, but Cal sent two blockers with her knowing she's going to get the ball. Two hitters in the front row for UCLA. Setter is also in the front row. So Claire Felix or Olga Stronzoli on the left side. They try Felix again. Same result. The result two once more. UCLA back to back to Claire Felix. Will they change it up? Two big blocks by Cal. Kerr continues to serve. Oh, the over. Wonderfully done. Smart move by Julian Sani. Important to call your own number because Cal Camp, thinking about Claire Felix, Olga Strunsley, where's the ball going? She calls her number. Wide open kill for Julie Consani. He did put so much mental energy into that adjustment to be ready for Felix. Fall asleep on the senior setter. Reminder that USC and Stanford, a matchup of top 20 teams, a matchup featuring the number one undefeated team in nation. Is coming up next as Fitz puts away another one. And at the top of the hour, if you're anticipating that matchup, 
Head over to pack-12.com. Pack-12.com is where you want to be for the start of that match. What a serve. What a moment for an ace. Stronzoli delivers. Back to back two very tough serves by Olga Stronzoli. This time an ace. The last one it was an overpass. It is an ace because her team got an easy kill. So timeout Cal fighting for their lives in the fourth. They trail it by four and we'll be right back. Bruins dropped the first set here in Berkeley today, but they have rallied with wins in the second and the third, and they have an 18-14 lead behind 22 kills from Carstolo. We talked about Carstolo at the top of the show, and Christina Higgins both putting up great numbers, 22 kills each, both hitting 371, 378. Those are fantastic numbers by both players. Higgins not on the floor at the moment for Cal. They get set to serve receive. Need a side out here. Schoenweiss has been their go-to opposite of Higgins. Kerr picks it up. Alfton playing big minutes here in the fourth. And she blocks Christine Alfton has come in. Big spark for Cal in the set. That's her third block. And I think that's one of the areas Coach, Coach Rich Eller said is really the biggest challenge for a freshman left side hitter to adjust to that blocking level. You really have to be strong. Push her a long set, and she missed, and she took out Holly McPeak monitor. Careful, that's expensive. Hey, I was digging that ball off the bat. <laughs> I'll we'll say this about Cal as Deppy will leave here and favor of Mary McKinnon. This does not look like a team that has lost nine in a row and is still searching for its first Pac-12 victory. No, they're putting together good strings, putting the pressure on UCLA. <laughs> Felix couldn't finish. Long run for this set. They go to Bushler down the line. What a sock. Riley Bushler, good decision down the line. A dozen kills to her credit. Service back to UCLA. Bushler again. Cal has it covered. Bumps it back to Alfton. How about more? Incredible pancakes by Lowe. Sean Weiss. Big time dig. Lowe gets a shot. Her answers. Point of the match right here. And it goes for the Bruins. Nightingale the block. And Cal is furious. Check out these pancakes. Well, they're tipping right over the block so Carstolo can get there. Could not tell if she got that up. And then what a rally. That was a rally of the day so far. Both teams playing great defense. Cal's staff was begging for one of those to be down. They do not get a call and they fall behind 20 to 16 in this could be decisive four sets. Alton off the tape and that goes wide. That last rally was just a little bit deflated. Cal's been fighting so hard to lose that rally. I could not tell the pole is right in the way to see if that pancake ball was up, but Coach Feller did not think it was. We hope you'll stay to the conclusion of this one between UCLA and Cal, but a reminder that USC and Stanford are about to get started over in Maples Pavilion. Hack-12.com, the place to go if you want to pick up the start of that one. Don't know if we can tell decisively. Well, this is a good angle. I think it looked like it got her hand. It's real tough angle to see.
I know one thing, both teams digging really hard. This is not an easy match, and Kel is fighting hard for that first conference victory. Maddie Kerr with 13 digs to lead her team. There's a little bit of indecision about the official count here in the arena. Our set monitor says 21-17. The in-arena scoreboard says 21-16. So we'll get that ironed out and get back underway. We'll go with 21-17 until we're told otherwise. Taylor Formico to serve. On the slide, Sean Watts. I've seen Cal play a few times this year, and I'll definitely vouch for them. They're playing at an elevated level, especially when they pass the ball. Lillian Sean Watts in the offense, Christina Higgins looking dangerous. There's some good stuff happening on the Cal side of the net. Again, this is all without Vukasic, who's missing a third straight match due to illness. One of the big threats. Too hot to handle for Mary Kennan. Riley Bushler making a live in that high, hard seam. Finding a way to put the ball down for UCLA. Bruins within three. Higgins, low, and Higgins is with the block. Big time block by Christina Higgins. The ball was set a little bit low in, inside, but Christina Higgins all over that for Cal. Bushler off the block. And UCLA now needs two. Riley Bushler with her 14th kill for UCLA. Up and low in the offensive category. It's so important. It's nice to have a player like Carson Lowe, but you need offensive balance and help. In a way to serve. Gets the chance on a tip. Could not find the floor. Another pancake for the Bruins. A free ball to UCLA now. Oh. Crushes it. Off Janelle Jordan's lock. And another point for the Bruins. Cal in the right spot. Just in a defensive position. Could not turn it back into the court. Match point for UCLA. They go to Jordan. She misses, and that will do it. The Bruins rally from down a set to win three consecutive and pick up the road in Berkeley. UCLA battled hard today, but New Cal has a lot to be proud of. They need to keep their heads up. They're doing good things. They just need to, need to maintain a high level for a long period of time and not stop believing because they're a good volleyball team. Up next for Cal, they will hit the road to play the Oregon programs. Meanwhile, UCLA, as we mentioned, finally gets a chance to go home. They'll host Washington at the Wooden Center. That's 6 o'clock on Friday, Halloween. They have been road warriors maintaining this national ranking and picking up their 15th win overall and improving to 6-4 and four in conference play. For Hunter Peak, I'm Jay Long. Our producer today has been Steve Elk and our director, Maurizio Pijano. Thank you for being with us to begin this fantastic Pac-12 women's volleyball doubleheader. UCLA takes it in four, and coming up next, we go across the San Francisco Bay to see number one and undefeated Stanford challenged by USC.